Ladies and gentlemen, you see this government doing what they always do when they want the Black community to do something. They go run to the church and run to a Black pastor. I guess they think we're all into the Black pastor. No, many of us do not listen to these pastors at all. But, you know, I guess they go with what is familiar to them. Oh, get the black pastor to encourage them to do it. And many of them are. It's not just St. Louis, but nationwide. There are many um, trying to encourage their congregation members to get these vaccines. So this came out on NPR March 23rd, 2021. St. Louis pastors encourage black congregations to get vaccinated. It's a three minute vid, um, audio here that I'm gonna play for you. COVID-19 vaccine sign-up rates for African-Americans are below that of other groups, and that includes in the predominantly black North St. Louis County. The low rates are related to access, healthcare equity, and vaccine hesitancy. In St. Louis and elsewhere around the country, black clergy are taking the lead to encourage their communities to get the vaccine. St. Louis Public Radio's Andrea Henderson reports. The St. Louis County Executive has specifically asked Bishop Lawrence Wooten of Williams Temple Church of God in Christ to spearhead the vaccine campaign. He's focusing on clergy in predominantly black North St. Louis County. We have the highest death rate from coronavirus of all the ethnic groups. The black community is the one that has hit the hardest. African-American faith leaders in St. Louis are among many Black clergy across the nation who are urging their congregants doing both in-person and virtual church services to get the vaccine because African-Americans are pre-registering at lower numbers. In most of St. Louis County, about 20% of residents are pre-registered through the health department. But in North St. Louis County, where many Black people live, it's under 9%. So we are most vulnerable, and that's why we need it the most. Wooten is trying to change that. He's working with county health officials to get residents equitable vaccine distribution, and he is working with pastors to make their church's vaccination sites. Wooten has been vaccinated himself, but he's concerned that since many pastors can't get their own appointments, they may not be talking to their own congregations about getting signed up. A pastor is a person that is looked up to in the congregation if they can get registered and they are leaders in the community. They can influence others to follow suit. One of those pastors Wooten's working with is Reverend Roderick Burton. He's senior pastor of New Northside Missionary Baptist Church. Burton makes a point of talking about the vaccination with congregants at every opportunity. Okay, you're sharing. Can you see that? Okay, all right. Hey, fantastic. He's done a special PowerPoint presentation during Bible study that included information about the black doctors and researchers who helped develop the COVID-19 vaccine. We had a big hand in developing the treatment. The person who's on the screen. And he connects being in good health with what the Bible says about Jesus being a healer. This is so important. I'm still going to talk about it every service to get the people prepared so that they understand and, you know, just get it in their mind. Burton says he's seeing some positive effects from the vaccine messaging. A number of his members have already pre-registered for the vaccine, and some have already gotten it. But he wants to do even more. My biggest concern is that people will drag their feet in getting it. And for me, it's very crystal clear. It's life or death. You know, we've had people die. One of the church members Burton influenced to take the shot was Juliet Hughes. She was hesitant. I was one of those people with the conspiracy theories in my head at first because we all go back to the Tuskegee experiment and other things throughout history. Hughes Church encouraged her to talk to local doctors to gain clarity about the vaccine and that helped her conquer her fears. In fact, she broadcast her own vaccination on Facebook Live. Hello. All right, are you both getting the vaccine? Just me. Okay. All right, I just need your ID. Vaccine. And now, Hughes even helps host conversations on her congregation's Facebook page to encourage others to sign up for the COVID-19 vaccine. For NPR News, I'm Andrea Henderson in St. Louis. Okay, so as you can see, this pastor is trying to encourage his, and he is encouraging them all to get the vaccine. And as far as him telling that African-Americans are dying at the highest rate. I'm not going to believe that until they show the raw numbers. In America, 
is full of shit. It's been over a year now. Y'all been harping on this mess about black people getting it worse. But as soon as we start asking for numbers, you fall short and won't show any. And historically, you have lied to us about everything. So I'm not willing to believe you on that. I mean, you can say it all you want. You will never get me to believe you. So, wow. You know, unfortunately, it is going to work on some of our people if a pastor stands in front of them and tell them to go get a shot, you know, but many of us that are not influenced by what pastors say, we'll just stay, we'll continue to stay away from these vaccines. We will see how summer unfolds. I have a feeling it's going to be a bad one for y'all. See, you're, you're in this false belief that 2021 couldn't possibly be worse than 2020, but time will tell. It has not turned out to be a good year so far. Okay, you started your year out with an insurrectionist. And we have seen you, uh, vaccines, the, the refrigerator gets pulled, you know, the plug on the refrigeration gets pulled or it wasn't refrigerated in the proper temperature and millions of vaccines had to be thrown out. Vaccines bad in transport between, uh, what was it, between Texas and Michigan, they had to throw all of those vaccines out. And then we had the winter, which delayed vaccines getting around the country, <laughs> you know, and then power going out and Texas losing a lot of vaccines during the power outage. I mean, it, it has been horrible. And the countless people that have died shortly after getting the vaccines, it has been a tragedy with these vaccines but it makes me laugh when they're trying to be all upbeat about something they have not even conquered. It's one thing if you got at least one of either the variant or the actual uh, vax, uh, virus that we had in the beginning and you conquered that, they have conquered nothing but trying to talk a good game. You know why they're doing this? Because psychologically, these folks cannot handle it if this vaccine fails. They cannot psychologically handle it. That's why they're acting the way that they are. Oh, we, we can go to the beach. We can open a restaurant, open the place up. We're not going to close down again. Psychologically, they cannot handle this thing failing. Well, I can't play your psychological game, nor am I interested in it. I live in reality not in fakery land like the rest of you on this virus being the be all of everything. You believe in fake stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think. You know, this is the usual thing we always see. Whenever they want black people to do something, go run to the black pastor. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.